Bob Dylan and Robbie Robertson have known each other since the late 1960s when they both worked together in the band. They have remained friends and music collaborators ever since. Dylan and Robertson have collaborated on various albums and tracks over the years. Their most notable collaboration was on the Dylan's 1975 album, Blood on the Tracks. Robertson wrote many of the album's tracks and played guitar on several tracks. The two have continued to collaborate on various projects in the decades since. In 2004, they worked together on the soundtrack for the Martin Scorsese film The Aviator. They also worked together on a 2016 collaboration called Moonshine in the Cornfield which appeared on Bob Dylan's triple release Fallen Angels. Robertson has said that he and Dylan have a musical understanding, if not a complete commercial or personal one. They continue to stay in touch and collaborate on various projects. It's clear that the two men have a strong bond and a deep respect for one another. Dylan has also been quoted in various interviews over the years about the lasting friendship the two have had. In a 1978 interview Dylan stated, Robbie and I still talk. We've been friends a long time. In a 2010 interview he said that Robbie and I have had a very close relationship for 50 years. Despite the fact that they have had a professional collaboration for so many years, it's clear that their relationship is more than just a professional one. At times, it seems that the two of them have a deep, almost unspoken understanding of one another. They have been able to remain friends over the years even while taking different paths with their music. Robertson's influence on Dylan's songwriter has been a major part of his career, as Dylan has often credited Robertson's abilities as a guitarist and songwriter. This mutual appreciation has kept them connected throughout the years. Whether or not the two of them remain close over the years, it's certain that they have forged a unique bond over the years that is lasting. Robertson recently spoke to the New York Times about their relationship and the respect they have for each other, we have a certain musical understanding that grants us creative license over our collaborations. It's clear that they have a unique chemistry that cannot be replicated with other collaborators. They have formed a bond that is unbreakable and that will endure the test of time. Even when they are working separately on different projects, they still support each other and wish each other the best. They have a mutual respect for each other's talents and for the hard work they each put into their music.